Hey, Cam Callender here with the MSI Concept. Wanted to bring a topic, a marketing topic tip. Uh, with this topic, retargeting. You know, I've talked a lot to several people about it. i uh, you know, shown a couple of people advanced information on this retargeting. And I'm sure you've had this happen to you already on the internet. Um, you've gone and Googled something or watched something on YouTube, and then all of a sudden an ad for that same product or service has popped up or a similar product or service has popped up on your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook news feed, something of that nature. Well, this type of advertising is called retargeting. It takes a look at what you've looked at online and it represents that to you later as you are scrolling through or surfing the internet. So a lot of people are experiencing retargeting on the internet and it's going to continue. It's a different way of the technology working right now with all the information that you share online, you know, sharing your likes, your favorites with your friends, things that you share in content, things that you search, all that's all connected on the internet. So what I wanted to get into is really on the marketing side of it when a lot of people are sharing YouTube videos. So a lot of people out there, you're using YouTube videos, uh, you know, definitely different things from different sources. Uh, but most of the time on YouTube, you're sharing a video that's not on your personal YouTube channel. So when you're coming to doing that and you're sharing not on your personal YouTube channel, so I kind of want to share how that kind of looks. So if you go into YouTube and you're marketing to someone, you share them with a YouTube video or link, whatever you happen to share to them, there's already retargeting of several other videos on the side of that video that are similar to things they've searched or watched on YouTube. So they've now got a plethora of similar videos from our people that they've already watched on that, on that, that they're sharing with that particular page. Now, what you can do with to defend yourself on retargeting with that is to control that exposure. I use a software that allows me to take any YouTube video that I want and share it on my own personal page, my own personal website. So I'm going to copy this YouTube link because I'm going to use this video and I'm going to share it in one of my sites. So I use this software, Build the Realm, and you can definitely get access to it. You come under me and I will support you and help you building out your first web page uh, you know, with this software. And this is how I defend against retargeting. So I have my own domain, msimind.com. And what I'll do is I'm going to build up and add that, that page that I just built. I'm going to add that to one of my pages. Go ahead, let's see which one I want to add it to. I'll go with this one. So what I'm going to do is I have a page already pre-built. I'm going to add in that YouTube channel, that separate video, but I'm going to add it to my page with a different video. So I'm going to take that video. Let's get this out of there because it's not Vimeo. Delete that. And I'm going to add in that YouTube video to my page so that I can control the exposure and I can share out my particular page with people rather than going through and sharing out a YouTube link that goes into their, their someone else's channel there where they control the exposure and using all of YouTube. I'm going to add that in. So now this video is on my page. And what I can do is once that's on my page, I can control that exposure. For example, I'll just go to this website. Waiting for that to render and load. Well, that's rendering and loading. I'll just show share with one of any of my other pages. So you can kind of get the gist of what we're going for here. So here, this being a different page, 
with this being a YouTube video, I can cast in any YouTube video that I want onto my page. But then you can control your exposure, your website. Now you don't have extra videos from other people going on. You don't have advertisements from YouTube going on. And you have everything set up for your internal website that you can drive traffic to. And then when they, you go to share your website with people, instead of sharing them a YouTube link, you can share with them your website. So now when they go back looking for that content, they're going to be looking for your website rather than if just they go back to YouTube and they're not able to find that particular video that you showed them before unless they go back and get that exact link again. And if it's on someone else's channel, they could end up taking that video down. You know, you don't have control over that video. So if you don't have it on your channel and you're not driving it to your traffic, get a tool like this to where you can put it in and have that on your video, have that video on your web page so that you can control that exposure if you're marketing online. So that's what I wanted to come to you today with retargeting. Definitely, if you don't have the system, definitely get in touch with me. You can go to msimind.com slash sales automation. You can get a website built for you, help you. I'll help you build it. You can get all the tools that I use for 30 days for just $1. So if you come to msimind.com slash sales automation, you'll be able to click on the red button and sign up for the web automation software. And you'll be able, and I'll help you come and build a website so you can control your exposures. You can redirect YouTube, Vimeo, all those different videos that are out there. You can redirect them to your own website so you can control those exposures. You can capture their information when they watch the videos and you can follow up with them. My uh, email campaign follows up with everybody that comes to my website and enters in their information for an entire year on automation. So I have that built into my automation system. I have it built into my Facebook so they can connect with me directly and ask any messages directly on Facebook. I have that built in as well. There's plenty of other things that you can build in, different sales tools, different things that you want to market, multiple websites as well. If you want to market and sell your own products, you can. So these are all my own product list. So I can have those, I have those marked this. So if they want to buy a specific amount of training or anything, that's already built in for me with this system and the tools that I have here. So there's a lot that you can do with this, these set of tools. You have a ton of different tools here with the apps. I'll leave this up for a minute. So all of these different tools that you can get access to for just $1 for 30 full days. So you can test everything out. You can build your website within that time. I mean, it shouldn't take you more than a day or two. Even if you've never built a website before, you should be able to get one up and functional within a day or two. I'll definitely help you out with that. So, you know, if you need help in building a new website, definitely get in touch with me so we can get that built for you with this system. I have a whole bunch of new tools. They're always updating tools, also adding on new features as they grow and build this, this software. So definitely come on board and get access to the software. I use it to build every single one of my websites. Everything that I do is used through this system. And this is where all of my technology and, and automation comes through from all the projects that I worked on, which I'll be doing more videos on each individual pro product and project that I work on. So Builder All itself will get its own video. Um, but I did want to tap into retargeting because there's a lot of people out there especially in my inbox that have been sharing YouTube links and Vimeo links and just some different video links and they're not controlling those exposures. They don't have any, any control over that. They don't even know if anybody went there and watched it. They don't have any act capture of that information. They have no follow-up with that. There's no automation, no tools behind that if you're just sharing those links. So definitely watch out for that. And, you know, especially with retargeting, um, you'll see it happen. I shared, go and search something on the internet today. Go and search, you know, uh, go and search me. You'll start to see different things pop up just for that. Go and search anything. Once you start searching it, you're going to see that all the time pop up. All of the different videos, uh, when you're on social media, when you're on Facebook and the like, when you start searching through different things, you'll start to see more and more of that same content that you've been searching for. Retargeting ads will come up. So fund and grow. I had a webinar that I looked at with them the other day. Now they're in my newsfeed on Facebook. So it was something completely separate website that I was looking at. And now they're in my newsfeed. So that's what, that's what retargeting is. It's going to start to pop up everywhere that somebody's running an ad on that type of service or something similar. People are going to start to see it. 
So if you're constantly sending out YouTube links and you don't have a system that you can actually direct that traffic to, people are going to be bombarded with that same information from different sources, you know, that are out there marketing as well. So make sure that you're, you're dry, getting a system and a domain that you can drive that traffic to your, your own website. Because if people are knowing that they're going to your website and they're looking at that, when they get over to YouTube, even if they're watching the same information, they're going to remember your, your software and your, your website to set it apart from that. Like, oh yeah, I saw my, my buddy Cam's website. I'll go back to his website. That's where I want to, that's where I actually want to get the information from. So then once they go and get all of these ads targeted in their face and they finally make the decision to buy, they're going to come back to your website to actually buy rather than the ad or the YouTube video that they saw while they were scrolling through looking at something else when you have your own website and your own system set up. So that's what I wanted to drop on retargeting. Definitely going to have more videos coming out. So I hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Everything's going to be launched on Facebook. So you, uh, make sure you get the notifications and like on Facebook Live. Uh, so make sure that you get all the notifications there and subscribe. I will have all the recordings up on YouTube as well on my YouTube channel. So you can watch there if you missed the live recordings. Um, you can always check it out on my Facebook page. Uh, they will be up there as well. So definitely like, subscribe, share this information if it's helpful for you. You know, I hope definitely that the information I share helps you in one way or another. So I'm really just here to help everybody grow and, and get better results uh, as they're working in, on the internet because a lot of people are now working online. Uh, with COVID and everything that hit and happened so with this pandemic so I hope everybody's getting knowledge and getting resources and getting help so I'm here to help and I'll help you even build your first website if you decide to get the same software that I'm using every everything that I market and talk about and all the projects that I'm on I personally use every every single product that I'm talking about so I can give you a first hand set up on it or show you what how I use it or what I've been doing with it uh, any of those if you have any questions just let me know so just reach out to me and I'd be glad to help. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and share. Thank you.